Hello. You like my hat? This is David Browning, and I'm going to read that famous letter to the editor and response that we call, Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus. I hope I can get through it without crying. I probably won't. Anyway, so in 1897, Dr. Philip O'Hanlon was asked a question by his eight-year-old daughter, Virginia, which many a parent has been asked before, whether Santa Claus really exists. O'Hanlon deferred. He suggested Virginia write, asking the question to one of New York's newspapers at the time, the sun assuring her that if you see it in the sun, it's so. Dear editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? The response to Virginia's letter by one of the paper's editors, Francis Church, remains the most reprinted editorial ever run in any newspaper in the English language. In his response, Church goes beyond a simple, yes, of course, to explore the philosophical issues behind Virginia's request to tell her the truth and in the process lampoons a certain skepticism which he had found rife in American society since the suffering of the Civil War. This was 1897, remember. His message, in short, there is a reality beyond the visible. Virginia your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant in his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus he exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus. You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in this world. You may tear apart the baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside, 
but there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest man nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart only faith fancy poetry love romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, Virginia, in all this world, there is nothing else real and abiding. No, Santa Claus. Thank God he lives and lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia. Nay, ten times ten thousand years from now. He will continue to make glad the heart 